Algorithms are everywhere, from powering our internet search results to taking out the guesswork in our online shopping experience. They are everywhere. We use and trust them each and every day to make countless decisions for us. Despite their seemingly neutral mathematical nature, algorithms, however, aren't necessarily any more objective than humans. Because at the end of the day, they are written by people. And this is where the phenomenon of algorithmic bias comes into play. It has many examples. Like when Nikon cameras equipped with the blink detection feature wouldn't snap photos of many of its Asian users because the software thought their eyes were never open. Or how Amazon's Alexa struggles to recognize different accents. And when Google Translate insistently associates certain jobs with certain genders, while translating sentences with gender neutral pronouns from languages like Turkish, Finnish and Chinese. In 2015, Google's photo recognition tool mistakenly tagged a photo of two black people as gorillas. Meanwhile in the US, a crime predicting algorithm wrongly labelled black people re-offenders at nearly twice the rate of white people. You see the pattern here? Algorithm bias is rooted in the way AI, artificial intelligence algorithms work by using what's called machine learning and deep learning, which are both ways in which computers make decisions. Both are simply dependent on data, a huge amount of it, and ultimately the people who feed the data. So let's say we have an image classification algorithm. When you have that algorithm, data like millions of photos correctly labelled as a mug, it will be able to detect other pictures of mugs by comparing it to a set of characteristics it has learned thanks to its database. Similarly, a speech recognition algorithm transcribes words by comparing it to the millions of voice samples that it got earlier. The more labelled data an algorithm is trained on, the better the outcome will be. However, if there's too little data or too much unspecific data, these algorithms will have some blind spots. Here is where the problem of algorithmic bias comes into play. There is generally a person or a group of people who decide what goes into the sample data set the machine learns from. So if a camera company teaches its AI to detect open eyes and has used Caucasians as its main data set, then it's easy to see how the blink detection would be triggered when an Asian person steps into frame. This is an example of the algorithms in question, not trained with enough or related data in order to produce correct results. So what's really important to remember here is that behind every algorithm, there are people. And of course, that person's set of values and beliefs, ethnicity and cultural intelligence all play a part. These mistakes were perhaps unintentional, but the potential for software products to accidentally adopt some bias is serious. And as more industries which have a deep impact on people's lives turn to technology and specifically to algorithms in services like school admissions, job applications, insurance rates and credit scores, a significant question arises. Can algorithms really yield fair results? And whose responsibility is it to ensure that companies and people who create these systems are doing so in the spirit of social equality?